one thing about our sheep that I love, they uh, they don't care about weather. They just, they're going out to eat. And they, these girls have hay, they have a bale specifically for them. They don't even have to compete with the cows and they just want to go find their own. And they're eating the smallest little nubs of stuff out there. Um, but that's what they want to do. If that was goats, they'd still be inside the barn looking at the weather. In our experience, um, the sheep are fantastic. They just want to go graze. Well, hello everyone. Uh, we finally got a chance to get our mill set up here today. We had, uh, I guess, technically our first customer show up uh, in the mill's new location. Uh, we've saw it for people before, but uh, this is going to be its new home. And hopefully at some point I'll have a roof over this build, uh, building over it and all of that. Um, but uh, we had a customer show up with a nice load of cedar logs and uh, it was a good excuse to go get the mill all fired up and uh, we saw it for four or five hours there yesterday and uh, managed to uh, get all the logs done for the customer and uh, he was ecstatic to get uh, to get his uh, trees sawed in a short order and uh, it was like I said a good excuse for us to go and get everything set up and run again. Uh, because the mill, uh, this is the first time it ran in this location. Um, so, so you always have to work the bugs out. Uh, the sawyers that think they're going to buy a mill and just saw flawlessly every day whenever they want to use it is not going to be the case. Uh, my advice to anyone that's uh, looking to be a sawyer is to get to know your mill. Because for me, I work on my mill every time um, that I use it. I have to make sure that it's uh, running true. I'm constantly checking with the measuring tape to make sure the blades are, you know, that the, that the head is equal both sides of the deck, that the lumber I'm producing is to the dimensions that I'm shooting for, um, you know, tightening up anything that's uh, loose. And, you know, you're always kind of tweaking on these mills. So uh, anyways, the best thing you can do with these mills is to, uh, to know them and to understand them and uh, know um, kind of how to fix various problems because you will continue to have little problems because they're a mechanical thing. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, we had already saw it at this point. We probably saw it eh, maybe a third or maybe, yeah, maybe half of what we had uh, to saw there. So, um, and the beautiful thing about this, uh, these bandsaws is there is so little waste. Um, this customer did take the uh, cedar slab wood right with, with him because uh, it's winter time he can burn it. Um, so uh, he was happy to do that. It keeps our yard nice and cleaned up. And uh, yeah, another happy customer. He was happy and so were we. Have a good day, guys.